Yeah, so after having kids, how's business affected me massively? Um, before having kids, I was very much a 50, 60 hour a week, had to dive your head into it, everything has to be work, everything has to be full on. After having kids, it was very much a case of, I want to spend my life with my kids, not my business. So how is it that I can get my business to work for me so that I'm spending more time with my kids? And that change in perspective has helped massively grow the business. Yeah. You know, because sometimes taking a step back makes you see the wood from the trees, mm -hmm. especially in the restaurant industry. Yeah. I would never be growing it if I was working 60 hours in the restaurant. I couldn't possibly grow it. I couldn't possibly organize the project management and the lease agreements and everything that comes with setting up a new place and without having the time back in my life that I've given to myself thankfully because of my kids so that's positive then right? a massive positive yeah, yeah. and so. and obviously it changes your life goals in terms of before I was very much looking to expand to London mm -hmm. now I'm very much looking to expand to a beach area mm -hmm. like Bournemouth slash yeah, yeah, Southampton so I you know for your lifestyle for my lifestyle because yeah. I, I want to have a different lifestyle and so mm -hmm. very much it completely changes your perspective on on even where I'm going to take the business going forward. It does make you really think um, about, you know, life. Mm. It makes you think about life yeah. when you have kids. I know everyone says that, it's kind of a cliche. Yeah. Until you have kids, you really don't know. Yeah. You know, and um, I think it's fulfilling. It's, it's really rewarding. It just feels awesome when, when you are a father uh, or a mother, I suppose. And, you know, um, I, I wouldn't change anything, mm. uh, and you wouldn't change anything. I know. Um, I, know. I, I, I perfectly, I, I intentionally <coughs> set my business up so that I would have some time to spend with my kids. And yeah. for the first two years, my kid didn't see a nursery. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was my my first um, son was born in January 2020. So I took three months off, came back March 2020. Mm. COVID hit in April at the end. So I actually had the three months off, came back for a week, and then I had three, three months off. <laughs> well, yeah, I had three months off then again. So I had six months off. After that, I was very, um, uh, you know, I very much lacked motivation to go back into work. Mm -hmm. And well, you would do if you don't go to work for some of course, yeah. And I, you know, you, you build yourself up. I got into a point only for it to have gone down. It took me ages to build that motivation back up, mainly because you don't really want it. I wanted to spend. As I say, my kids haven't been in nursery for, two, for the first two years, so I spent all that time with them and then with them. Yeah, I've it never makes, regret makes that. You realize really love that. It's the balance of life, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you have some really ambitious people you know, mm -hmm. in life, and they don't care about anything. I just want to be the richest man in the world, and uh, you know, I, I want to have the fastest cars and mm -hmm. best of everything. When you have children, mm -hmm. it puts things into perspective. Definitely. I, that, that's something that that's probably back to the business aspect was that I, I said right I'm going to make less of a profit yeah. to employ more staff so that I have more time mm -hmm. but it was like working out is that the right thing to do it's like no it is the right thing to do because I'm only working so that I can have more time mm -hmm. I'm only trying to make more profit so that I can have more time if I can give myself time now then I've accomplished that and so it's like actually sitting back and going right I've made the least amount that I've made you know, 2020, 2021 and 2022, I've had the most time that I've ever had in my life. I've got to spend that with my kids, that's a success. You know, it brings, this is an interesting question and a very interesting thing that we're discussing mm. because essentially, you know, every time you switch the TV on or social media is probably a better example, mm -hmm. what you see are gurus basically telling people, go out there and work hard. You yeah. have to get up by three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, early <laughs> bird catches no. the worm. Yeah, yeah, early bird catches. So you hear all of these, uh, you know, things. So get up at three o'clock in the morning. I exercise for three hours, and then I, uh, you know, I have a, a, a slice of egg and yeah. whatever it is. Before anyone's awake, I've already completed. Uh, 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 ten days of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ten days of work before midday. You know, you hear all of these things. That are awesome. You know, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But what about life? Yeah. You know. Um, this is uh, this is all to do with look. 
you know you have people telling you what to eat when to wake up where how, how much to exercise and all of this kind of stuff all fantastic mm-hmm. but then th- we forget something called life yeah okay and mm-hmm. you, we do this and the interesting what, value. what the interesting thing that you mentioned is you know are we uh, living to work yeah or working to just be, yeah. be happy so and so on exactly yeah, and the, the fact is most people forget about this and in fact i've had this come into my mind I was very focused and I still am uh, on my ambitions as to what I want to achieve mm-hmm. but at the same time I, I reviewed my life and I just thought hang on a second uh, I've been blessed enough to have uh, uh, a quite a good life family. so for, uh, big family you know I've, I've got uh, businesses everything is fantastic now I can grow my businesses more um, and get to a point where from uh, let's just say from a million I want to get to a billion but how much of my life will it actually change mm. from becoming uh, a, from a millionaire to a billionaire, for instance? How much uh, does uh, does thing uh, sacrifice does it take? The, and if I have to sacrifice a lot more to get mm. to that stage, yeah, is it worth do it? I really want to? Mm. Do I really want to? And so you know, you have to really be realistic uh, about whatever we're seeing, and also you have to remind yourself the fact that whatever we see on social media. A fraction of people are the ones that we're seeing, and a fraction of people are the ones that actually want to be, uh, you know, the billionaires of the world or actually achieve that level or status. So you have to wonder what is it that you want to do and truly do things for yourself and not just to please other people. This is a thought which I had in my mind, and I thought it was very uh, important. And when we're talking about family and values of family and all this kind of yeah. stuff. Family uh, and having children is yeah. something that we're forgetting in the modern times. Yeah. is a very important, um, you know, concept of life. Mm. It's actually keeping uh, humanity alive. And it's a very important task, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're forgetting all of this. And and as well, I mean, I I was I was very selfish in my business um, aspirations for having kids. Yeah. And now after it's very much a case of. Not just time, but very much a case of is this going to be good for the kids when they're older? Mm-hmm. Almost, um, you know, what's the word? Not like lineage, but you know, it's something to pass down to them. Yeah. I've never felt that, obviously, before having kids. Yeah, of course. And and now everything's very real. I, I, something that always strikes to me. I don't know if you watched the Dragons then, but the Epiphetus always used to say, "My, you're going to have my kids' hard-earned money. Yeah, we need to spend." But <laughs> well, well, you didn't like, understand that at the time, and, and, and I totally get that <laughs> yeah. now. And it's like you know, I I'm very less inclined to spend money on yeah. certain things because I actually do think I would spend that money on my kids, and they could. I'd rather do that. Exactly. I'd rather do that. Yeah, exactly. you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So yeah, family, um, it, it is uh, completely very changes and it. it completely changes you. And it, it's not a bad thing. It's actually no. a really good thing. Yeah. Uh, ambition is good, but at the same time, balance yourself uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah uh, don't sacrifice your your whole life. Like, don't do the three a.m. and think that you know that that's accomplishment whilst ignoring your children if you have children or ignoring them I want the private jet don't get me wrong no but at the same time if you're going to miss out on you know your kids development for 10 years absolutely you, know, you have to question what really is important 